that is not a dead body. I mean, this is Moldova, baby. Could be a dead body. Their walk is too light. Not a dead body. Мне надо выйти ключом, то есть она умеет. Сразу понабежала. Лепота. Still feel a little bit like an idiot vlogging in public places, but I must get over myself at one point. We are, my friend and I, we are currently at the cinema. We are about to watch House of Gucci. The, it looks like it's going to be virtually empty. I think there's like another two people besides us that are planning on watching. The House of Gucci. Probably because it's in English. I wanted to watch it in English. <sighs> well, that's all I have to say until my friend gets back from the bathroom. <laughs> Stuck on the bridge in some heavy traffic and I thought I would pick up the camera for at least five seconds to say hello for the day because I haven't yet said hello to you all. But this is what we are dealing with. Moving at a snail pace. I'm not sure what happened. Usually it goes faster, so probably a collision. I hope it's minor. Somebody please remind me to get a proper phone holder so that I could actually use the camera hands-free whilst driving because that is obviously not the best angle and I've been stuck in this traffic for about 45 minutes now and it's probably normal for you people in big cities, but Kishinev is really not that big of a city. And in 45 minutes, 
And if my, um, excuse the noise, that's my wind, uh, windshield wipes going. And if I can turn them off, actually, it's not that bad. And I'm mostly standing. If I were walking home, walking on foot, and I was going at a decent speed, I would have been home already. So this is really, this is really bad traffic as far as Chisinau goes. And uh, yesterday it was fine, so I'm not sure what happened. So far on the bridge there was no collision, thankfully. And uh, it is too early for holiday traffic. Because that shit gets bad around like well the end of this week it would get bad. Right now it's too early for that still, so I'm not sure what's going on. Either way, the red talking hat is here to tell you that I need to get myself a proper phone holder. This could have been a talking hat video bad quality because the light is not that great but still better than this anyway okay so we made it past the bridge but now it's part two but it's moving faster so I'm here just for like 30 seconds to tell you before I forget to go and watch House of Gucci if you haven't yet we've been yesterday and uh, it's a really good one. It's a great movie. Go watch it if you have a chance. Also, my phone is falling asleep. I'm really, I'm too old for this shit. We meet again. I'm stuck in traffic. But this time I'm going to work and it is actually moving. Still, I'm going to be late for the fourth time this week and it is you guessed it Thursday I haven't picked up the camera at all yesterday I don't know why at first I just forgot and then I did not feel like it and we are moving and we are not moving but yes, hi, today is and we are moving again. Today is Thursday, December 16th, I think. I think it's December 16th. And I'm about to begin my drastically changed workday. I am not sure if you can hear me over the wind, but it is fucking cold. Cold. It should technically become better when the snow comes. Because when the snow comes, it gets drier. And although it's not the best on the skin and the hair, but it doesn't feel as freezing. And right now it's pretty humid. So it probably feels colder than it actually is. I don't think we are in the minus yet, but yeah. If I let my tea go cold, but now I'm drinking through a straw, does it make it fancy? I hope it does. I feel like being fancy lately. I even called a hairdresser I've been following, asking if I can go blonde, but I did not enjoy her answer. So I will not become blonde, because I will be looking for another hairdresser. Uh, I had this realization 
recently and it's going to sound so common sense and so ridiculous when I say it out loud but it took me a while to arrive to that point before before my mother and grandmother died uh, Christmas is and uh, Easter season and uh, birthdays and all the other holidays of the year they were magical and of course half of that magic is forever gone with their passing with their demise but the other half i can still create if i did try to create magic because half the magic of the season was in them making an effort to making this season feel magical for us you you know what i what i mean like you create the magic i i know it sounds really cliche but th this is how this is how i've been thinking about it and uh, i did a little bit better around easter this year because I really did try to put in some decorations and get an Easter, like let's call it a cake, and uh, make small gifts and things like that. And uh, my friends were wonderful and made my birthday celebration pretty great and magical this year as well. So it kind of, you know, just clicked together and I hope that I can I hope that I can after nine years of not celebrating Christmas and New Year's in the usual way I hope that I can bring back at least some of the creativity and happiness and I keep saying this word but honestly magic of the season that my grandmother and mother used to I just I hope I can do it because this is my favorite time of the year like after the golden autumn season winter when it snows, even if all we get is sleet and dirt and a lot of, you know, just wet rain and, and ice, winter is still my favorite season. Probably I love it even more than I love autumn. So to, to bring some magic back and to feel this season being special again would be great. It would be great. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I think I'm just gonna head to bed now. Because I need to check the pressure in the tires in the morning. And I also need to before I go to the airport, I also need to stop by the Jesus gas station. Gas station. I my my tank is full, but I need to pick up some coolant because apparently my levels are very low. My father and I we checked uh, yesterday, and uh, they are ridiculously low. <laughs> and. Uh, the other thing I need to do is to find, well, that I have at home, that I have at home, because uh, I need to prepare a gift, a small gift, like a souvenir to send back to Egypt to my friend, because one of the people who, are, who have been transported to Egypt to work in our offices uh, is here for the holidays and of course he's coming back 
to Egypt and I want to Shuruk, my friend, she told me that she sent a gift to me and of course I want to send one back. You know, whenever I have the opportunity I would love to do that. I should actually talk to HR and ask them how often they go because I know the HR director goes often and he's overall he's an approachable guy so I hope he wouldn't mind if I sometimes send some stuff over to my friends there because I miss them dearly they are great people and good fun <laughs>